What's up everybody, Noah is back here for my Blu-ray DVD update from Dollar Tree. So let's get right into it. We got a stack of stuff here and we are going to talk about them. So we're going to start off with the DVDs. There were a ton, and I mean a ton of MGM titles. So we're going to start off with the MGM titles first. And by I mean a lot, I mean a lot of MGM titles. And we got some miscellaneous stuff here. Some miscellaneous and then, of course, we go into the Blu-rays, which is what you guys are really here for. So I'm going to make you wait. We're going to go right into these first. The MGM titles are The Crocodile Hunter, Collision Course. I've seen this movie a couple times. I grew up on The Crocodile Hunter, thanks to my grandma. Uh, she loved him. Very, very good film. I think for, for what it is, it's not a critic film. It's, it's just a film that you sit down and you have a very fun time with. It's a comedy. It does it get a bit childish at some points? Yeah. Is it a overextended, a overextended episode of The Crocodile Hunter with just a little bit of a unneeded plot thrown in there? Yeah, but it's a perfectly fine film. Next up is Feast of Love with Morgan Freeman. Haven't seen that one. Looks like a fun little rom-com, uh... Good little romance film here, I think. One I'm going to be watching very, very soon. Uh, next up is Hawaii. It had Julie Andrews in it. Of course, it's a long film. Two hours and 41 minutes from 1966. Can't wait to watch that one. Uh, the Purple Rose of Ciro. Do not know what this film is about, but uh, Mia Farrow... Or, or sorry, yeah. Ma, Mia? Mia Farrow. I'm going to say that. Mia Farrow and Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels was in this. I didn't even know he was until I got home. We'll be watching this one very, very soon, though, because it's only 82 minutes. So that will probably be a watch later this week, along with a review on my letterbox. Next up is Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, the only version I've seen of the Rumpelstiltskin score, score, story is uh, from Muppets Classic Theater, that VHS that came out years and years ago. This one I got because of Cameron Diaz. Little did I know Glenn Close was also in this. This is things you can tell by just looking at her. This will be a mandatory watch this week, so I'm going to move those right there. Those are going to be in my watch pile very, very soon. And I'm actually going to make a little watch pile. So, next up is Stanley and Iris. My good friend Scotty uh, wanted this one. Wanted to see this one myself. Macely, Macely, it's been a long week, folks. It was Thanksgiving. We had Black Friday at the store. Uh, I, I got some Black Friday shirts, which I will show you guys up next. Uh, Stanley and Iris, because of Robert De Niro, I almost threw that DVD out at the damn door. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Mole Flanders. This is Robin Wright and Morgan Freeman. I knew nothing about this film. I know nothing about it still. It's a dollar. It's MGM. A bigger budget film for them. Uh, for the Dollar Tree, anyways. Assassination Tango. Just that title alone. I really enjoyed Grand Piano. So, I mean, that might have a feel to it. Next up is Copying Beethoven. This will be watched very, very soon. Probably around Oscar season. Uh, next up is Wicker Park. Been wanting to see this one for a very long time. Never came across a, a real good copy of it. So now, for a dollar, why not get it sealed instead of used? And then we're going to go with Throw Mama from the Train. This is one I've been wanting to see for a long time. I had the VHS tape, got rid of it, and now I own the DVD, and I will be watching that this week. And this is one I'm very, very excited for. This is Richard Gere and Winona Ryder, an autumn in New York. Cannot wait to watch this one. Very, very excited for this one. This will be watched very, very soon. So there is the watch pile for uh, the Dollar Tree DVDs that I will be watching first. But we got more DVDs. Next up uh, is Safe Haven. I have a friend who's very, very mad that I haven't seen this film. I'm very shocked because we got to talk about movies, our favorite movies. And very upset that I had, had seen Titanic. Of course, everybody has seen Titanic. But Safe Haven, I have not seen. So that will be watched very, very soon. Next up, one that I will be adding to the watch pile because it's insanely short. It's only 81 minutes. Roadside, if it sucks... Then it's going right in the seller trade pile. Uh, next up is The Mechanic. I need to get The Mechanic Resurrection, The Mechanic Revolution, The Mechanic Royal Rumble Lution, or whatever it's called. 
Uh, I love Jason Statham. I want the Blu-ray, but for a dollar, just to watch the movie first to see if it's any good, then I'm definitely going to pick that up. Next up, this felt like a little bit of a Tyler Perry film here. I don't know if this is a play, if this is a movie. I think it's a movie. Uh, but it also looks like a stage play. So we will see. I don't see any microphones anywhere on their ears or anything. So this is uh, David E. Talbert's Another Man Will. This is uh, an hour and 42 minutes. I think this is a... Okay, Joe and Cynthia Scott are the perfect couple, or at least 19 years ago they were. Somewhere in the routine of it all, Joe has forgotten just how much of a knockout his wife really is. Unfortunately for him, the ruggedly handsome gardener hasn't. Lovely once, lovely still. Treat her right and another... Sorry, treat her right or another man will. Looking forward to watching that one very, very soon. I might pick up more of his work if I do enjoy that. Because, I mean, I'm a sucker for a good romance movie. So, give me a good romance movie, and I will definitely be watching that. Uh, now, we're going to add a couple more to the straight-to-watch pile. This is Galveston. This cast. Elle Fanning was the selling point. And Lily Reinhardt is also in this. But I love Elle Fanning. I love Elle Fanning and Dakota Fanning. Love them both to death. Going right in the watch pile for very soon. But I believe I've seen this one. I believe I've seen this one. This one is Arizona. Do I have a review of this on my channel? Or did I rent this from Family Video when they were still open and I never got a chance to? Other, I, either way, I would be watching this very, very soon because I do have a couple days off work. Woohoo. Uh, so, Arizona... We also got Adopt a Highway. Looking forward to this one. A Blumhouse film from RLJE Films. 81 Minutes with Ethan Hawke. Why not? And then finally, we have Gary Oldman in Mary. This just looks like a very fun horror film. I know nothing about what this horror film is, but I remember it coming out, but never got a chance to see it. So stay tuned, everybody, because I will be trying something new. A WWE t-shirt update. So we will be going into that. Maybe the next time I get a shirt or two, I will let you guys know. But they had their Black Friday deals, and I just got it. So I will still have you guys for those, because I I just I just got a few. Um, I just got a few. So I will see all of you guys next time.